Hi, this is Douglas with Atlantic Software. I'm the creator of Email Marketing Pro, and today I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to set up the software so you can start email marketing. Hey, we all wish we had more hours in the day, so that's why we've made it simple. I'll go into talking about the signature and canned spam settings. Then we'll look at how easy it is to set up your outgoing mail, which is used to send the email, and then your incoming mail, which is used to check your incoming email for bounced back mails and unsubscribe requests. Let's start with the signature. It's an optional setting, and the signature is just that. It's your signature. So let's say you have an image with your signature in it, or a link to Facebook or your LinkedIn page that you want to add to each email you send. You can put those in your signature and reinsert them into your email again and again. Here I'm just going to insert my, my signature and link it to my website. Now let's look at the canned spam settings. These are absolutely fundamental for complying with laws in the US and other countries. Click canned spam, enter your business name, enter your email address that you're going to be using to send your marketing emails. Email Marketing Pro uses these settings so that you can insert your business identity and a link to unsubscribe in each outgoing email. Next, outgoing mail settings. These are the settings used by Email Marketing Pro to send email. First, select your email service. If you're using Gmail for small mailings, for example, you can just enter your username and password in step two. If you're using your own email service, like let's say you have an email account with Comcast or Verizon, go to their website and search for email settings and you will find articles on how to configure an email program. After you've entered the username, password, and other settings, next pay attention to the details. This details pane gives you links so that you know the terms of service of your email provider. In step three, enter your sender name and sender address. This is the friendly name that identifies you to the inbox and it's the email address that the recipients will be able to reply to. The return address is the address to which bounced email will go. Bounced email is like when the post office returns a letter to you because the address is incorrect. It's like the return address on an envelope and it has to be accurate or it won't get through spam filters. Next, let's look at pop settings. Again, you'll need to find these in the same help document where you found your outgoing mail settings. The pop settings are incoming mail. So if you're using Email Marketing Pro with your own email service, it uses that incoming mail to check for requests to unsubscribe from your newsletter. Now finally, I want to talk about ProMail by Atlantic Software, which we saw in the outgoing mail settings. ProMail is our email sending service, and it's designed for bulk email. It has many advantages. Most email services are designed for individual use. Maybe you have a business email that allows you to send a lot more. I don't know. But if you have a Gmail account and you need to send more than 100 emails a day, then you're going to want to sign up for ProMail. Have a great day, and I hope this tutorial was helpful, and I hope that you really enjoy Email Marketing Pro and marketing. It's a lot of fun.